That's so important. And you know, that's the thing that I think is a blessing with, you know, the whole podcasting and creating a podcast and stuff like that is that, you know, I think it's given an opportunity for to be able to tap into that whole mental health because yeah. now more of us doing it. That's why I love seeing, you know, more podcasts now here. You know, everybody say, oh, you know, so everybody, my mom got a podcast, but actually it's not enough really because it's, you know, like you said, reach them. Somebody may tap in. They may need to hear something you got to say. So I try to salute and try to empower up any other podcast because we need to hear it for ourselves. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And um, that's extremely important. All right. So, um, so now what year y'all graduated? I graduated from Barber School 93. What year y'all graduated from Barber School? 2000. 2000. 2003. 2003. All right, so what's some of your takeaways from barber school? Mm-hmm. Oh, ah, good, good we about, take we about, we about yeah. to really get in on this one. Yeah. You going deep into the bag, huh? Oh, I go deep. Yeah. I remember you on the barber college podcast, hey. and I got you. I heard, oh, yeah, now, I, look, I heard you talk trash on one of your or one of your clips. You talk about uh, schools a waste, I think, or something like that. I, I never said you. that. Yeah. I never said that. The thing about teeth, I'm gonna let you talk. Oh, I know, I know. You know what you you don't talk, talk about. You know I've done a lot of them. You can talk bad. You can talk more bad about your if you choose to. But as for me, wait, wait. You talking about barber school? Like barber yeah. school experience? Yeah. What was your? What was say your? What's the worst? What is your? All right. So let me try to say it right. You can tell us about your barber school experience. What's your biggest takeaway? Good. Where I, where good I got my and bad. Where I got my license at is the bad part for me. But in the penitentiary, I got my license in the penitentiary. All right. Okay. That's all the bad thing about right. it, man. You got you got so, your right. you got your L's though. That's all that matters. I had one of the best instructors ever. Shouts out to Big Mama out of Columbus, Shout Ohio. Shout out. She taught me how to cut all types of hair. She taught me how to even cut a cowlick at the beginning. So like, yo, see, people, wish barbers don't do no cowlicks right now. I wish my students would have been here. Anyone of my students would tell you, I always tell them hair only has one color. <laughs> one, green. green. That's facts. That's right. I do know. sheer work. I do, you know what I'm saying? She taught me how to do all the things that I, I, that I couldn't have learned on these streets. Because when you're on the streets and you are at a barber school here, your mind ain't focused completely. Mm-hmm. You just go through to the motion, da da da, and want to do this, the hands was and all that. But she sat there and taught me from the uh, what the, the, the uh, disinfectants all the way down to learn the laws and taught me properly how to cut white, black, Hispanic hair. So that's the blessing that I got mm-hmm. with the school. One thing I can say, I did in the penitentiaries. But other than that, I was great with my school at, and I got out with flying colors. And look where I'm at now. Nice, exactly. Yes, sir. Uh, man. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, about to get personal, no, 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 y'all. No, no, no. I mean, y'all really want me to go there. Yeah. He put you on, he put us on blast. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> let me, let me, let's, okay, let's do buddy. this. Let's do this, right? I know for a fact that I never had an issue with barber school. I always had an issue with how, how the bar, what the barber schools do as far as teaching curriculum to students. Um, oh, I don't, I'm gonna I, say I, this I, before. I, I don't remember that. Now. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. We have to change with the times, okay? okay. Um, I think we were, and it's kind of like maybe going backward, I think back in the day in barber school, we were getting taught, I'm gonna say in the correct way at that particular time. But I think a lot of schools got away from the basics yeah, as time went forth. I agree. So when this right here start becoming more yeah. effective, yeah. they kind of start falling back on more so I agree. the verbiage of how they put things, right? Right. So we start speaking more of, of what YouTube might say or what an influencer might say opposed to what your knowledge and what your experience that you gained over the years that you, what you can say to students now that should be respected. See, we came up as in where you're respecting what the instructor been through, what right. your experience was, right. Right? right? right. But they don't even need to, they don't even need the instructor. No. Nope. They must rather listen to a YouTube star. Yep. Or whatever you want to call that. And, and say, hey, you know what? Oh, I'm going to listen to these dudes because they dress fly to you. Yeah. <laughs> and they got a lot of followers. Yeah. And they're barbers. Well, you just an instructor that teaches stuff out of book. <laughs> don't say anything to us, and you tell us to come to work on time. Right. I mean, I'm sorry, come to school on time. Right. So when I said schools, I got bashed not too long ago by saying I think you get, I think you get the schools too much credit, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, do I, give, do I really give schools too much, too much credit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just basically saying, man, I think the schools are doing a good job 
of of like being there for the students. But when it comes to events like this, you gotta be here. They don't teach the students. They don't yeah. tell the students about coming to shows, yeah. and they right? So like you guys said something about mental health. Yeah. yeah, mental health is real. But a lot of the youth out here, they not out here doing wrong because they have no have no parents at home or no dad at home. They out here, they are doing wrong because they don't got nobody positive in their life. Right. That positive person could be their friend. That's the same age. Right. That's positive. Right. I'm not gonna go on the limb and say all oh, the youth are bad. Cause some of them just don't know no better. They don't know any better. Right. And some of the other ones got good hearts. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So but when it comes to this right here, you know, barber school, I, I, I think I said that to regard to saying they don't do a good job of telling these students about events, about podcasts, that's such as this. I agree. They can learn a lot of different stuff from it. It, it ain't like the other, it ain't like the olden days where yeah. you can go to barber school and learn something in school. Yeah. I mean, I learned a lot at that school. Right. It ain't even about that. Right. It's about getting out, being new people, shaking hand, make a friend. Yeah. And building a relationship with somebody, and have and building a mentor relationship. Yeah, and that's something that I had to learn um, myself as well. Is how just recently I just um, was at another event, and just how important. I, and maybe I, I just had an aha moment, like man, um, I'm looking around, no one knows how to network. That's oh, it. And so that goes. So that was like just what you just said, you know, uh, Joe. Like I knew right now. So you know what? I'm taking this back. <laughs> Take us back to the school. We got, we got to fix that because yeah. there's no, they don't know how to network. And then, they, and then, then at the time I was in the situation where there's some other influencers around with this and I leave them nameless or what have you. And then they, you know, had their little swag and had you know, things going on. But really, I sat back. I wasn't. I looked at it as it was a, a circular thing. But no one in there around the room. No one in there really knew how to network properly. And it made me, like you just said, it made me assess myself to think back when I was in school. You never talk about networking. You know, you just so you just said what the what the other instructor said to do, you right. do, and that was it. Jokes and um, this and that. right. <laughs> so and and, and, like, and uh, another thing, like going like going to shows for me, just what you just said is the uh, what's important about, of course, having students come out to shows, but also attending as instructors or school owners because we need to see what how people talking. What what is they what they're saying? Because they, because these influences have the influence. They do. Right. So we need we need to be able to know how to be able to bridge that, yeah. right? Because we know our responsibility is to give them those fundamentals to be able to to take those advanced you no know, uh, techniques or what have you. Right. But we got to be able because these 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 influences got them. Yeah. So we got we got to yeah. be we got to be able to know how to merge that together. So that makes, I will that say, makes sense. It does make sense. So I would say I would say influencers, right? So now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty. Okay. There's a lot of influencers that have no influence. Ooh. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like this yeah. is like I'm saying, it, I, it, I, it, I never it. considered myself as an influence. I could right. I, I mean and if even if I did, I I consider myself I was an influence when I first started cutting barbershop mm. years yeah. ago. Yeah. Because I influenced the community. That's right. right. I influenced the kids that come get their haircut and got bad grades. Right. I influenced the kids that come to the shop and get their hair cut, they talk back to their mom, right. their pop. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I seen it in the shop live. You know, when I was in the shop, I seen a lot of that stuff. So I'm more so like that. Hey, don't talk to your mom like that. Right. Hey, don't talk to your big sis like that. They brought you come get a haircut. They paying for it and all the kind of stuff. So we not doing that today. Right. Now I'm gonna step there. You influence that. You influence that gentleman or that lady or that man that just had a bad day. Exactly. You changed it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, and again, that goes along with mental health. Remember, yeah. all these are connectors, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. So they connectors, and, not, uh, and and us being connectors, we're also facilitators too. So we set the tone, barbers. Right. Yeah. Right. That listen to this. We set the tone. We set the, tone. We, we set the tone. So if 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 you're going to if you're going to call yourself an influence, don't just influence IG profiles. Ooh. Influence real life style, real life people that need that. Message. Right. Message. I'm just, because, because I'm gonna tell you from a, from a I'm gonna tell you from a school perspective, there are students who say they want to become influencers. So if y'all yeah. want to become influencers, I'm talking about it right now. Listen, you are influenced. Influence yourself to get out of barber school first. There you go. Influence yourself to do the I think was it 15 hours, 15, 25, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 20 hours in school in this particular state. Anywhere else, you know, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like don't don't be the don't be the person. Yeah, right, I'm gonna get the barber school. I was just talking to a gentleman there yesterday, and we talked about a lot of stuff and stuff. I am going to tell you right now, 
that there are barbers that are in barber school that are getting out of barber school that think they have the they have the right to skip the steps of success to become great. Oh. You have to have you have to take these different steps of success to get to great, right? You know what I'm saying? Like this, you know what I'm saying? So can I tell you but, something funny? Look well, ahead, I'm gonna let you finish. With you. I'm gonna tell you something. So again, you you want to do all these different things. These guys, I love the students. I love the future. You guys, listen. This industry don't belong to me. It don't belong to you guys. It belongs to the future. All we can do is, is keep it, let people know, yo, listen, man, it's hot, it's hot. Don't touch that pot, it's hot. Right. It's gonna continue to be hot. Right, right. Just be careful. Right. Stay on your ground, take it easy, take your time, don't rush into stuff. And don't, and don't, and don't, don't buy, ain't about spending all your money, it's about wasting your time. So don't do wasting that. Wasting your time. Two yeah. things you can't get back, your word of time. Word of time, that's right. But I yeah, go ahead. No, 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 you just made me think of something that was just, that was just <laughs> funny that I, that I had a student one time that actually asked me a question when it was serious, it was dead serious. So it was like, um, so Mr. Graham, I asked you a question. It's like, um, you know, you got all these years of cutting hair, you got this, you know, 20 plus, so no year, da, 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 this and the third. Is there any way you could show us how, or show me how you could take your 20 plus years and condense it in three? I said, man, I ain't even gonna ask that question, man. Mm. You know how ridiculous you, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 that, that mathematically, that's not even that, possible. That, so that, I, I don't even know why you even asked me that question, but take you take 20, 20 years plus years and condense it in three. three. Because, you know, I'm, I'm in my late 20s, I'm just right. trying to, you know, trying right. to speed it. I was like, right. he, 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 he trying to do a short story on you? <laughs> I just thought they just made me think about so, it. So, you know, you ever get those guys that come to you and say, listen, man, Flannel, what's going on? How you doing? Go, listen, listen. I want to do what you do. Can you tell me how you got to where you are today? Mind you, bro, we had a seven and a half hour event. There's right. no way I'll be able to tell you that within right. 15 minutes. Right. I got other things going on. Now, if you want to get if you want to get technical, if you want to learn some different things. There'll probably be a book that'll be released eventually soon. <laughs> nice. And I'll be able to show you different things. Coming right. Right. Coming you, know soon, coming soon. you know what I'm saying? Like that that's I mean, you can't go to barber school and say, listen, can you teach me 15, 25 <laughs> hours and 35, 35 minutes? 35 minutes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, again, time, money, boom. People are like are people get it. Oh, that's the money to get some money. That's right. You gotta spend time to get time. That's right. That's right. Time. That's time. That's time. And what that does, that'll bring you some money. That's right. right. Eventually. Right. Right. Hey, really, the money ain't really. I ain't talking about the cash. I'm talking about money is the relationships. Money, yep. money is money is the blessings Whoa, you get. The, yeah. the money, the money is the, what is the oh, things. Oh, you, you said want. relationships. No, money relationships. Yeah. All that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Who you yeah. know? Who's yeah. connected to you? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you, you want to say something. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. 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 You want to say something? Yeah. 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 Because yo, listen. It's Bow. not who you know. It's not who. It's not what you know. It's not who you know. It's who knows that you, you know. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, it's about the who, the person that knows you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, yep. No, I'm clean. I'm clean. She said, "I'm clean." I'm clean. 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 Value. So I tell people, people who come to me and say, "Listen, man, I want to do something. I want to do a. I want to do something great in my city. I want to do something great in my shop." Right, that's cool, right? Oh, I can bring. You know, oh, man, you guys do this. I love everything you guys do. I get that. I appreciate that. You know, my main thing is, man, I can learn from everybody in this room. That's in this room. Right. Everybody in this room. Right. Everybody. That's right? right. So let me learn something of value. Mm -hmm. What do you have of value? That, can apply that, that, that you can bring and put on the table. Because a lot of people sit down at the table. They eat. You know, you ever go to a little cookout? <laughs> you, you got the food all set out. You know what I mean? Look, you got the food set out. Boom, boom, bing. Bing, bing, all that right there, right? You got the macaroni, you got the chicken, you got the gravy. You know what I'm saying? And some other stuff, right? You got all this kind of stuff, right? People coming in. You know, people got their hand on they're looking for a plate. All you got a plate over there, all right? Right, right. Hey, man, did you ever, did you contribute to anything? Or <laughs> <laughs> but but you're the bullets. He getting all this game for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Your phone was your phone. Your phone was in. 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 Your phone
First of all, I want to shout out to my man. What's your name? LaCut. What is it? LaCut Stewart? LA. LA Cut Stewart. You from LA? You from LA? Everybody keep asking me that. You stop running. You from LA? That's my name. Okay. I want to say shout out to my man, LA Cut Stewart. Yeah. Make sure y'all follow. Appreciate you. I just don't know who I am. Oh, I know who it is. Hold on, I want to show you some love. I ain't done yet. But I want, that's what I want to do. Everybody that's watching this live, they know this live. Follow my man, right? And my man had energy me coming in. Great, <laughs> right? Great energy. And he, he knows, said, and, he, and he said he is him, right? I'm him. And you know what? I'm going to say, man, this brother, I'm going to speak. I'm also on the series note, bro, because we on that level right now. Right, right. I'm going to speak success into your life, bro. Absolutely. I appreciate it. More success appreciate into your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, you know you know so you know what saying? like straight up, bro. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, and that's, that. and we talk about mental health earlier. Yeah. yeah. It's these type of things, these type of comments you make to people. Yeah, a lot right. of guys be going on left. They go straight left. As soon as they come to the room, nah, I ain't messing with the ball. Man, yeah. listen, I love you, bro. Man, you don't even know me. Don't yeah. mean nothing. I yeah. love you, bro. Yeah. Just yeah. to hear those words, yeah. that, that makes you wild. The energy. You yeah. said you, you control the room. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You got to say, I met him. Same thing. I met him, and he like, what's up? <laughs> I said, hey, what's happening? I ain't even know me. I'm here. I'm here. Yo, let's get it. Yo, yeah. man, this is real, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, that, and that, again, man, that, that's the ass I've always been in. And it goes back to with the events, guys, like me doing these shows, you know, in different cities, man. I mean, this I, I know over the past, since, you know, since 2001, a lot of cities we've been, I know I know it's been a lot of lives that we touched, yeah, man. Right, yeah. Yeah. Even, even when COVID, man, I say, after COVID, there was a lot of barbers, man, that I was doing. When COVID first started, everybody was shut down. I did a lot of live videos with people that was going through stuff. I had barbers that closed their shops down. These are mm. guys who used to buy tickets to come to the show. Mm. These are guys yeah. that used to hit me up and say, y'all want to buy 30 tickets for my mm. fam and all my yeah, barbers. Yeah, yeah, These dudes right. closed their shops down because they, yeah. because they didn't have not just the money saved up, but their mind wasn't right. right. Yeah. So, then they like these are the same, but these are the same dudes. I'm calling, Ooh. checking up on the COVID. Yeah. It's like, yo, bro, y'all cool? Yeah. You told me that. I told, told, told me I said, yo, y'all good? Yeah. Oh man, look, man, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going through it right now. Are you going through it? Man, yeah. listen, bro. Look, I'm not calling for no money. I'm calling to talk and have a conversation with you, man. Yeah. And I, I ain't lying. When I hit these streets and I go to these shows and mm. I promote these different shows, mm. I ask dudes. I go in and be like, yo, bro. How's the family? I go in there with a whole bunch of flyers, right. right? Flyers in my hand. I sit down in a chair, I sit down like, yo, my man, how your family doing, bro? How you kid? Everybody cool? Oh, yeah, everybody good. No. I be in there talking about I don't have about their family. Nice. And they yeah. shop. Yeah. I walk out, get in my car, I'm driving. I be like, I be halfway going. I be like, wait a minute, I forgot to get in the fly. <laughs> and they, they, be, they, listen, right? they be texting me. They texting me, telling me, yo. They text, they telling me, like, yo, man, you forgot to leave your ticket. I can buy the tickets for you, boy. You know what I'm saying? I be like, all right, cool. Listen, I'll tell you what, man. Just come and show. I give you the same price as you had to jump. Like, I mean, it, it be like that, man. So Alliance guys, man, you be surprised. I'm telling you, word of advice. Just go up to a dude in school. If you go to school with somebody or a shop, and you be like, oh, what's going on, man? Good morning. Hey, yo, everything cool, man? Yeah. First thing going to be like, yeah. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? Yeah. 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 But all that is, is they not used to you doing that. Right. I guarantee you they're going to look at you different now. Right. 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 They're going to look at you different. They're going to be like, Concerned. yo, my man got love for you. He, yeah. yeah. What's going on? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. And now I find it's a habit now. Like I said, I get on the phone and be like, what's going on? Y'all, y'all cool? You know, first thing I say, what's up, man? I hear he'll tell you. What's going on, bro? So you don't call my phone when I have problems. But I'm saying, let's do that for a minute. If I call my man LA Cuts, right? I be like, LA Cuts, what's going on, man? Just chilling, man. You know, I'm still here. I know you are, but man, can I ask you something? Yeah, you good, man? They cool? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. You be like, no, wait. But then now you'll know now because we have this conversation. Right, right, right. I'm good, bro. How are you doing? Yeah, absolutely. Right, right. Absolutely, absolutely. I can say you did that when I first, you know, you didn't you know me for no time. Time. I mean, when, when I it's, talked it's to you. First thing you asked it's, me, it's, how you doing? And, 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 yeah. I don't mean to take over. Are you good? But it's, it's pressure. You're ego in the building? Yeah, jump in. Yeah, that's the ego. Hey! They get to it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, it's the pressure that, that, that you got to understand that, that people don't know that you can literally change somebody's whole ego yeah. by just saying, how are you? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not much. about you trying to get in a business. But right. it's just, how you are sure you? You care. Right. Somebody don't say this. Right. Yep. Somebody don't even know what this means. Yeah. Yep. They just... Know that what you mean? How am I? You, you don't even know. You don't. You know what lives you might affect to change but, just for simple yeah, fact of yeah. saying, 
Like even customers that come into a shop. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a guy I watched on um it was a it was a uh, TED talk where a guy was barber sharing a story about how just doing a regular haircut, I'm never saying. knew the dude, the the customer told him right at the end of the haircut that he was going to go commit suicide. See, see, but haircut, just because man. just because the haircut, just because the conversation, it made him change. It made the change his mind. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that message? <laughs> message. People in my city, you listen. This is what they saying, right? You got to be aware of your surroundings of people around you, especially the building. Be in tune yeah. with your people. Yeah. And you write about that because in 2000, I'm sorry, 2019, right before COVID hit, October, I had a house fire. Wow. I didn't believe in keeping money in the bank, my partner. Yeah. I lost 95% of everything I own. Y'all can contest it. Everybody who knows me since now can contest it. I have everything I own in my, you know what I'm saying? My, 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 my rent insurance, yeah, elapsed, yes. everything. Oh my God. I sat down there. My daddy came over to see me. I sat down there. I cried. Right. At that point, I wanted to break myself off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But by me being from a, I got a religious mother, she's a minister, my daddy's a deacon, but other than that, having some stable people who knew me from the past or planting some seeds, right? Right. James, black, you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And those who are expected to help me didn't help me, but those who I blessed in the past, uh -huh. the cash out started coming in. Mm -hmm. Stuff Drop. started coming in. Drop. They said, we got faith in your product line. That's why I push this trade unlimited product line. That's why I give back even harder to my community. Right. You know what I'm saying? Understand. Because I had to start with, because we as barbers, credit, 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 credit. Couldn't get a car. Wow. Credit store yeah. 500. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I got $2,000 now, but that's too, no, my, 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 my insurance, my, my, my interest rate, I'm paying $678 for a 2019 Kia Forte. Right. Real talk. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. I'm already broke. You're breaking me more. Right. Then COVID came. <laughs> no, first, then I had a son in November. Yeah. Ooh. Then COVID yeah, came bring, the yeah, following bring, year. Yeah, you're bringing a new one in the, in the, in the world. Oh, and then when COVID came, we couldn't work for six months before, right? right? So now the grind had to be even harder. You said some barbers was going through it. Mm -hmm. I started out sending our product. So my game, had to, like my hustle game, got a little better. I wasn't good at sending, I started shipping out beer products. My beer products were shipping off. I started stepping up the game. Like, oh, it's making money. It's paying the bills. Right. Went from that and advanced up to where I'm at now. Wow. And I'm saying, I'm blessed to where I'm at. So entrepreneurship, being on your A game, and having your mental health together and having a great support system. Now, don't count your family as your family from town to town. Because cause loyalty is family, right? You know what I'm saying? Loyalty is family. Everybody in your family them got your best interest. They want to see you fall. But if you can stand the test of time, you know what I'm saying? You go through that struggle now. You done made a diamond out of this damn piece of coal through what I went through. You know what I'm saying? That pressure made me up the man who I am to this day. We talk, he be like, James, but you be... James will go. But you see my team, you talked to my team on Zoom the other day. My team there was strong, ain't they? I got a nice strong team. God has blessed me with some people. The universe has blessed me. Now, I say universe, God, I want religion, y'all good. I have a relationship, you know what I'm saying? So I have changed a whole lot of things and I'm making some things move now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy where I'm at. And networking and meeting people, networking, yeah. meeting people. Meeting people I talk to you out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I talk to you out there. Yeah, I got blessed to meet this brother from my brother, um, from the network with, um, Mike Sharp. Mike Sharp. Mike you know what I'm saying? Shout out Mike Sharp. Mike Sharp. Shout out my brother. He said, James, I don't do this. I don't really add on people to on shows. You told me that. Yeah, I don't do it. I don't do that. He's, he's hosting my show. He's he cracking up. He's cracking up. I don't do it. Real talk. He don't do it. Listen, listen. He told me. I, don't, I want to say that because there's a lot of cultural vultures out here, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of people that they, they love what we do. Right, right. And they right. love the money that comes in on Absolutely. what we do. Right. But do they really respect what we do? No. Uh, no, they do not. No. I'm a business person. I can help <laughs> you with this and that. <laughs> I hear you. But, but, I, know, I know one, two, three, four, five. But none of those are coming over here with me with five, four, three, two, one. Right. So what 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 again goes back to what? Value. What right. kind of value are you bringing right. to the brand? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely.